Okay, now that I'm logged in, you're going to notice that uh, one of the differences, one of those major differences, you can see here as I drag this window to the left display, half of the window is grayed out until the mouse actually switches over to that other display. And then whatever is left on the right-hand side is grayed out or it's sort of uh, ghosted. That means that you can only have a window being display on that particular desktop and you can see how it breaks up. So even though iBooks is in the foreground, when I let go of the mouse, it doesn't show before or in front of iPhone on the right hand side. So let me push it all the way to the left so that we can see it. Another major difference that you're going to notice is that now I have two title bars or two menu bars rather. On the left hand side I have one for iBooks and on the right hand side I should also have one for iPhoto. Let me just bring iPhoto to the foreground. It's giving me a warning of the resolution. If I bring iPhoto to the foreground, now you get to see that the iPhoto menu shows up on the right, while the iBooks menu shows up on the left. And to complete the difference in experiences, let me take one of these applications full screen. I'm going to take the one on the right hand side, iPhoto. Now when I bring iPhoto in full screen mode, you get to see that the display on the left is not in full screen mode and we don't get to see that black window. So we can fully utilize the second display to do something else totally separate from the right display. Now if I go back to the right and I use the, my three fingers to scroll on the trackpad, you can see that I can switch between the different desktops. So one of them is the dashboard, my original desktop, and now my full screen application. As you can see, this starts to get more confusing though. Uh, now let me go to the display on the left and take iBooks in full screen mode. So now I have two applications in full screen mode. And still, if I'm on the left display, you can see my mouse is on the left display. If I scroll with three fingers, I get to the desktop on the left. Now if I scroll further, the dashboard does not appear on the display on the left. It's actually on the display on the right. So let me take the mouse to the display on the right and, and use the three fingers to scroll with the trackpad. We get to see the desktop on the right and we get to see the dashboard. Now this is where it gets uh, even more complex. We can go into mission control with multiple displays and here you can see a better mapping of why we had so many windows. If you can see at the top, on the right display, I have three desktops, well, one dashboard and two desktops, or rather dashboard, desktop one, and iPhoto in full screen. And on the display on the left, I've got desktop and iBooks running in full screen mode. Another difference is that I can go and create multiple desktops on the different displays, completely independent from the other displays. So now on the display on the left, I've got all of these desktops created while the display on the right only has one plus my full screen application and the dashboard. Now this is really powerful because I can go to the different desktops and have different applications running on these desktops. For example, let me take Safari over here, just make it uh, larger. Let me go back into mission control, switch over to desktop three and yet another application. This time I'm around, I'm gonna bring calendar to the desktop number three. Just gonna make it a little bit smaller so that we can actually fit more windows in here. This time around, I'm gonna add reminders to that same desktop three. Now let me go into mission control and show you the very complex setup that I have here. As you can see there are many, many things happening all at once. When you have so many desktops, apart from getting confusing, it's also really powerful because you can really organize your content as if you had almost an infinite number of desktops or an infinite number of displays. I'll give an example. So this is something that you could not do before. In prior versions of OS X, you were not able to take a window, let's say the reminders, and move it into another desktop. As you can see now, it's on desktop number five. So if I click on desktop number five, we see that the reminders, it's the only thing that is on this desktop. Let me go back into mission control. This time around, I'm gonna grab a whole desktop, desktop three, and I'm gonna move it to the display on the right. Now I've got desktop, well, it appears as num number as desktop one, then the dashboard, desktop two, and then iPhoto. So let me navigate through them. This time I'm gonna be using the control key and the arrows, which is the same thing as dragging with three fingers on the trackpad. 
So if you don't have a trackpad, you can still use a control key with the left and right arrows to navigate between these uh, desktops. Now, if all of this gets really, really confusing to you, as it does to me, you can do is simply get rid of all of these desktops. I'm going to hold on the Option key so that I can see the little Close button. And as uh, you close the desktops, they get collapsed into one single desktop. So you can see I cannot close the full screen applications. I actually have to go into the application itself and take it out of full screen by hand. Let me go and do that same thing on the display on the right. Get rid of our iPhoto, which is currently in full screen mode. There we go. Now I've got a, something more manageable where I have one desktop on the display on the left, another desktop on the display on the right, and the dashboard, which I'm used to having it to the left. And again, if you find all of these very confusing and you'd rather have the all way of uh, having or dealing with multiple displays, you can go into the Mission Control System Preferences and uncheck displays have separate spaces. And that would just make OS X Mavericks behave as it used to do with prior versions when having more than one display plugged in.